in an interview almost a year ago, two years ago, July of 2020, in in uh, interview with IndieWire, uh, you said, Lena, being an activist is not everybody's ministry, but you can't be a black artist today and not be affected by what's happening in some way, shape, or form. That was two years ago, and looking at the date, that is about a month, almost a month after the killing, the murder of George Floyd. Two years, mm -hmm. two years hence. Uh, talk more about that. Do you you still feel as strongly as that as um, that quote sounds? Yeah, I I, I completely agree. Uh, I still stand on that, and that, and not not for any reason to to feel as if oh to say that I was right, but more to be honest about how I feel now. And I am very much affected by what's happening in the world. And I also feel very powerless in many ways, which I think I'm not alone in that. Um, but I think what I can do where I have some sort of power is at my keyboard, is within my work to either write away from it so that way the audience can get a breather and society can get a break. Or I can also, if I choose, want to walk into it and, and talk about sort of try to reflect back to us what our experience may feel like and, and to let everyone know that it's okay to not have all the answers and to not always have it together. I think that what to me, when I'm watching something that's showing a very human experience, I feel seen. And I think that's what, I think that's what, especially artists of color are sort of, that's, it's, maybe it's a dilemma, but it's also just a part of it, part of the artistic journey. Uh, because I think so much interesting work is coming out in these times because that's how artists grapple with what's going on in the world is we we purge uh, into the work and hopefully it touches someone when it reaches audiences.